Hey guys, just wanted to get a little video out to show you how addicting this alternative energy is. I started out with these panels here. Well, I started with only three of them. And then I ended up with a couple more. And I got this whole array. That big array there. Got these two windmills that I built from scratch. Actually, you might get to see this one here start up. There it goes. The exact opposite that usually happens. Usually, I come out here and they stop. We're getting pretty lucky today. That one just started up. That one's trying to start up. The wind max up there is. Probably will start up in a minute. See it spinning around into the wind. Well, these three turbines here, windmills, whatever you want to call them, and this little set of solar panels here charge up some batteries that I have down at the house. These are some homemade panels that I made. Got some grid tie inverters in here. You can see they're working. They've been outside for over a year now. Still working. I had one top left here. That one went out on me. But like I said, they've been outside for all, all last winter, all this summer. And that's supplied by half of this right here. All the bottom panels on this. And those two big panels on the end are run off of end phase inverters. That thing's go, starting to go pretty good there. I'm starting to lose my battery here. But anyhow, I had another system that I just installed. I've been working on. It's a uh, hot water, solar hot water system. Don't know if I'll be able to get inside and get any of it at all before the battery goes dead in this camera. Keep it all this alternative energy. I'd have a way to have some good batteries on hand. This is a drain back system. This here is actually a, where my hot water panels will drain back into. Just comes out of the bottom of that, feeds in. Two pumps I had to use. I have a temperature control there. It's not quite hooked up all the way yet. These two lines here actually go through the wall here and to my original 35 gallon hot water heater. Over here I have this 120 gallon solar water tank that I got and I figured it probably had a coil inside of it but it didn't so I, I actually added my own coil. You can see it only sits a couple feet away from my wood stove here. But anyhow my coil goes through just little 3 eighths through here behind this little shut off. So it comes down out of that pump through here. There's 20 feet of 3 8 coil inside of this. Comes back out over here. Goes up. And then it pushes it all the way up to the, uh, my roof. I don't know if I get this or not, but the tank, just sitting here, the tank is at 87 degrees. I didn't really have a lot of solar water going through there today, but. Just sitting next to the stove, the outside of that tank is 87 degrees. You can see here my batteries are all topped off from those turbines and a uh, little array of solar panels there, 13-1. And if I do have enough time, I'll run out and show you the panels out on the roof. I bought the three hot water panels for 50 bucks. wasn't a bad idea. I wasn't a bad deal. And then I bought the uh, 120 gallon tank for 50 bucks also. You can see the three panels up there on the roof. The one in the center had broken glass. So I just have some roofing on it right now. Clear roofing for like a greenhouse or something. So this is how addictive it is. Like I said, I started with three of those little panels and I had all the stuff I just showed you there. 
I'll try to get a better video when I got some good batteries. And then if you walk down here to my brook, a lot of people might just be getting into all this stuff. The solar hot water is really amazing. For a little while today I had like 140 degree water coming through them. It's like 42 degrees outside. <laughs> 